Hello students, in this video we are going to solve 7x minus square root of 3 times x square minus 8x plus 1 and divide by x this is equals to 8 over square root of x plus square root of x whole square. Here we will find out the value of x and x belongs to real number. Look carefully in, left, in right hand side, in denominator part we have a square root of x. So we can say x is greater than 0. Now in left hand side common denominator is x and in numerator 7x square minus square root of 3 times x square minus 8 times x plus 1 and this is equals to in right hand side we will apply a plus b whole square and we know that a plus b whole square this is equals to a square plus b square plus 2 times a b if we apply this identity in right hand side then 8 over square root of x whole square plus square root of x square plus 2 times 8 over square root of x is multiplied by square root of x. In left hand side 7x square minus square root of 3 times x square minus 8 times x plus 1 divided by x and this is equals to here 8 square is 64 and square root of x square is x plus square root is cancelled out by this square then here x plus this square root of x and this square root of x is cancelled out then 2 times 8 is 68. Now if we multiplied both side x and here x then in left hand side this x and this x is cancelled out then here 7 times x square minus square root of 3 times x square minus 8 times x plus 1 and this is equals to this x is multiplied by inside the bracket then 64 over x is multiplied by x then we get 64 plus x times x is x square plus 16 times x is 16 times x. Now if we take all the expression in same side then in left hand side 7 times x square minus 64 minus x square minus 16 times x and then minus square root of minus square root of 3 times x square minus 8 times x plus 1 minus 8 times x plus 1 and this is equals to 0. Now this is 7 times x square and this is x square. If we subtract then you will get 6 times x square minus 16 times x minus 64 minus square root of 3 times x square minus 8 times x plus 1 this is equals to 0. Here look carefully these three terms if we take common 2 then this is 3 times x square minus 8 times x minus 32 and minus square root of 3 times x square minus 8 times x plus 1 this is equals to 0. Look carefully inside the square root we have 3 times x square minus 8 times x plus 1. So if we apply here substitution then first 2 times this is 3 times x square minus 8 times x and this minus 32 is same as plus 1 minus 33 and minus square root of 3 times x square minus 8 times x plus 1 this is equals to 0. Now here we apply substitution. If we substitute 3 times x square minus 8 times x plus 1 is square root, this is equals to m. Then we can say m is greater than equals to 0. Now, if we take square both sides, then in left hand side, 3 times x square minus 8 times x plus 1, and this is equals to m square. Now, 2 times. 3 times x square minus 8 times x plus 1. This is replaced by m square. So here m square minus 33 minus and this expression is replaced by m. So here m and this is equals to 0. Now this 2 is multiplied by inside the bracket then 2 times m square minus 66 minus m this is equals to 0. Now this is 2 times m square minus m minus 66 this is equals to 0 this is an quadratic equation so here we will apply middle term split and then find out the value of m 2 times m square minus m is same as minus 12 times m 
plus 11 times m minus 66 and this is equals to 0 look carefully these two terms if we take common 2 times m then here m minus 6 here if we take common plus 11 then here m minus 6 and this is equals to 0 now m minus 6 m minus 6 if we take common m minus 6 then here 2 times m plus 11 this is equals to 0 now we know that if a times b this is equals to 0 this implies a is equals to 0 or b is equals to 0 so here we can say m minus 6 this is equals to 0 or 2m plus 11 this is equals to 0 then value of m is 6 and here value of 2 times m is minus 11 and if we divide both side 2 then you will get m is equals to minus 11 over 2 and we know that m is greater than equals to 0 so that's why this value of m is rejected so our value of m is 6 and here Recall that, recall that the square root of recall that the square root of three times x square minus eight times x plus one this is equals to m and square root of 3 times x square minus 8 times x plus 1 this is equals to m is replaced by 6 now if we take square both side then in left hand side here is square and here is square in right hand side then this square root is cancelled by this square then 3 times x square minus 8 times x plus 1 this is equals to 6 square is 36 now if we take all the expression in same side then 3 times x square minus 8 times x plus 1 minus 36 and this is equals to 0 3 times x square minus 8 times x and plus 1 minus 36 is minus 35 this is equals to 0 now if we apply middle term split then 3 times x square minus 15 times x plus 7 times x minus 35 and this is equals to 0 look carefully these two terms if we take common 3 times x then here x minus 15 sorry here 5 not 15 plus here if we take common 7 then you will hear x minus 5 and this is equals to 0 now x minus 5 and this x minus 5 is common if we take x minus 5 is common then 3 times x plus 5 and this is equals to 0 and we know that if a times b this is equals to 0 this implies a is equals to 0 or b is equals to 0 so we can say x minus 5 this is equals to 0 or 3 times x plus 7 this is equals to 0 then value of x is 5 and here value of x is minus 7 over 3 but we know that x is not negative number because here we have a square root so this value of x is rejected so our final answer is x is equals to 5 i hope you enjoy this video see you in the next video till then take care and bye bye